already very, very impressive wins for both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Let's go over to John King right now because uh, a lot of people thought that Hillary Clinton would win. A lot of people didn't think she was going to win by this kind of margin. A lot of people thought that Donald Trump would do exceedingly well. But a lot of people didn't think he was going to win by this kind of impressive margin. And in both cases, the margins will impact the delegate math, which is what's most important at this stage of a contested uh, con contention nomination fight in both parties. This is why Hillary Clinton tonight was saying, in her view, that the Democratic race, in her view, mathematically, is over. If you look at the map, you see a lot of Bernie Sanders, but Hillary Clinton winning in the, in the cities, the smaller cities of Rochester and Syracuse, and then winning huge down here in the New York City area. And the bulk of the congressional districts are down here, and the bulk of your Democratic base is down here in the state. Westchester County, the suburbs outside of New York, she calls, now calls home, 67%. Come down, nearly 70% in the Bronx. 60%, 61% in Queens. In Manhattan, 66%, you get the picture. Running up the numbers. In Long Island as well. Running them up big, yes, out in Long Island as well. And it's at Staten Island, more conservative, Hillary Clinton winning there. And you come out into Long Island as well, and she's winning by less of a margin in Suffolk County, but still 55, 10 points there as well, 91% of the vote. And so everywhere you look, especially in the, the key Democratic turnout, the base area is Hillary Clinton winning big, even though that looks impressive for Bernie Sanders when it comes to the delegates tonight. Proportional rules. He'll get a chunk of delegates tonight, but she's going to have a net gain of 25, maybe a little higher than that, depending when we go through the districts down in here, which is what she wants to do. She began the night around 229. She wants to add 25, maybe a little bit more to that, and then she's hoping to have an exclamation point let's, next Tuesday. Let's take a look at the Republican race. Right. Uh, extremely impressive right. win. Look at how red that That's, is. That's Donald Trump. All right, pick your word. Thumping, shellacking, it's a rout. Uh, Donald Trump running up the score. And again, he's above 60% here with nearly 80% of the vote in. There is absolutely no doubt Donald Trump will end above 50%. Looks like he's going to be in the ballpark of 60%. So then you say 95 delegates, what is he going to get? If I had to guess right now, I'd say he's going to get about 90. Uh, there's a congressional district just here, uh, Albany and to the west, uh, where you see Trump at 48 uh, and then the counties around it, some of the congressional district is in the eastern part of this county. He's at 54. Some of it touches this county. He's at 47. So there's a possibility in this congressional district he's under 50. If you're under 50, the man in second place gets one delegate and you get two. So Kasich could pick up a delegate up here. Vote. We're not done counting, but he could up here. Another congressional district over here anchored by Syracuse where you see Trump a little bit below there. The district stretches out into some of these other counties, but it's possible. We're not done counting yet, although we're getting close, 99% in the Syracuse area. So it's possible Kasich gets a delegate here. And the other place, Wolf, and this, again, overwhelming for Trump when you look at this. A lot of people will say, oh, it's his backyard. If there is one minor bruise on Donald Trump tonight, it is here. Uh, with 92% in, you see it. this has been consistent. It's about 500 votes. Uh, but John Kasich, right now winning in the borough of Manhattan, which Donald Trump calls home. Uh, there's one congressional district right in here. Kasich conceivably could win that, with, get two to one for Donald Trump. And these parts stretch into some of the congressional districts that run out into the other boroughs. We'll have to do the math there. But conceivable, if Kasich holds Manhattan, uh, it's conceivable he picks up two for that one district and maybe one or two more for the other district. So John Kasich could come out tonight with three to five. Donald Trump gets the rest at the moment, and I don't see any reason it's going to change. A big goose egg. Ted, Ted Cruz. Cruz. Ted Cruz winds up with potentially zero of the 95 delegates in New York State. Right. He winds up with zero. Which hurts his argument that he says, I'm the, con I'm the candidate who committed to the convention. I should be your choice on a second ballot. If you're getting a goose egg in New York, if he doesn't prove that he can pick up some delegates next week, Ted Cruz's argument takes a hit. All right, John, thanks very much. Let's go back to uh, Dana and Jake. Uh, Jake